Good evening and welcome to the September 18 Queen Anne's County School Board Work Session. Can I get a motion to resume open session? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Can we stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ms. Alexis. Pursuant to the general provisions, Article Section 3-305 and Section 3-104, the Board of Education of Queen Anne's County met in a closed session to discuss the appointment, employment, assignment, promotion, discipline, demotion, compensation, removal, resignation, or performance evaluation of appointees, employees, or officials over whom this public body has jurisdiction. Any other personnel matter that affects one or more specific individuals and to conduct collective bargaining negotiations or consider matters that relate to the negotiations. Thank you. Okay, a motion to approve the agenda as presented. Motion to approve the agenda as presented. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Can I get a motion to approve the minutes of the closed and open session from September 4th as presented? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Um, Dr. Noll. Oh, he's already talked. So can I get a motion to um, approve the HR report as presented? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. 3.0. Who is discussing? All right. Dr. Noll. Good evening, Madam President, Dr. Salins, members of the board and executive team. For the record, Michael Knoll, Director of Human Resources. I come before you tonight uh, in light of the budget shortfall. The board has entered into an agreement with the Queen Anne's County Education Association and the Administrators and Supervisors Association and their memberships for the adoption of furlough, day, furlough days in order to balance the budget. The four furlough days that will take place during the 24-25 school year will be as follows, October 18th, 24, November 4th of 24, January 24th of 2025, and January 27th of 2025. Uh, I would like to, and we would like to extend our appreciation to Queen Anne's County Education Association and their president, Cecilia Mitchell, as well as the Administrators and Supervisors Association and their president, Jolene Smith, for their cooperation and collaborative efforts in moving forward with this uh, understanding and furlough. Any questions? No, I, I agree. It was a lot of work, and I think this is a, a, a great agreement that we've uh, come to to minimize impact on our students and, and have everyone mm -hmm. equally share in, in what's a tough tough budget year for everybody so thanks to everyone for that um anybody else i'd also like to comment i think we're the people that are going to be affected by this furlough for retirement there's a uh, clause in here that they will not be that if they give us notice by october the 15th yes and are going to retire then they would be held harmless and get their pay which guarantees them to their state retirement and if in the future i think that's very good i think it could be good for them not to have them a retirement effect which is years out in the future and also will help us we'll have a better handle on that date uh of what will be going future because we'll have some tough challenges for next year too yes sir but i do i do think that's a, a positive thing both for both parties and to just reiterate, the furlough is for everyone across the board. I, I think there was a little bit of misunderstanding on who may or may not be affected. And it's and just to clarify, single. too, a furlough day is when an employee does not report to work and does not get paid. I think some of our employees were in the impression they came to work but didn't oh. get paid. So those days, no one reports to work, but they also do not get paid. Any other questions or comments? Can I get a motion? I'm making a motion we approve the agreement between uh, QA, CEA, and us, and AS for furlough days amounting to four days for the current year to balance the budget. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Here we go. Dr. Kibler. Good evening, President Bennett, Dr. Salins, board members, and executive team, uh, Dr. Matthew Kibler, Assistant Superintendent. So I bring before you tonight. Uh, with the agreement with the four furlough days, um, what we will be doing is furloughing on 
um, a day that's set aside for elementary and middle school conferences in October, as well as impacting uh, two days, two professional development days in January that are set aside for grading and, and uh, semester rollover at the secondary level. And so what we're proposing tonight is the addition of four half days in the student calendar, the student school year calendar to make up for that difference. So we are proposing October 30th, adding a half day, October 30th and 31st would be a half day for elementary and middle only for conferences. And then um, January 21st and January 28th would be an additional half day for all schools. Can we get that out to the public and the parents because we're doing elementary and then everybody on the second round. But I think we need to be very clear to that because that does put a lot of burden on people with daycare situations and, and you know, so they need to know that as soon as can. And if we're gonna do this, which we should, um, I think get that out in an appropriate way because they got the calendars. I know somebody's gonna say, oh, I didn't know that. But we, and then, and then maybe a week prior to that each time, mm -hmm. send out something else with, with that where we send an email. Yeah, so, um, we'll do recorded messages. But we also, um, Dr. Schreckengoss will be reaching out to the EDGE who um, typically, when we do have half days, um, tries to offer some type of programming for students to help That's parents. That's um, Right. So she will be doing that, and she'll also be reaching out to the Boys and Girls Club to see if they have any opportunities. So we'll try to work with partners in our community to try to provide additional opportunities on those half days. I'm not going to promise anything, but we're, we're definitely going to try to work together with them collaboratively to see if we can offer some type we of have, but, but programming. But the Y up here in Centerville. And the Y as well. But up we get up Northern County, it gets to be a problem. And there are, yes, well, the Boys and, Boys Girl, and Girls, Club. Girls Club would help North and North. then as well as Alphabest that serves five of our elementary schools. They, and I, I can't speak for them, but right. they in general do extend programming on their half days to students in the program. Okay. Um, so that hopefully they would, they would participate in okay. this as well. So we'll be notifying we, all of them now, as well as our parents, as well as sending out, cool. um, we do, um, a call through school messenger and with that call an email goes directly out to parents as well so um, we'll do the best we can and put it on our website as well to promote promote the um, additional half days and any other questions about the half days can I get a motion so moved second all those in favor Aye. 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 okay Aye. thank you very much Aye. Dr. Kibler so the next meeting will be our regular meeting, October the 2nd at 6 p.m. Can I get a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very much. Thank you.